Hello everyone and welcome to another Marvel Crisis Protocol unboxing and today we have for you some, maybe slash all, the releases for August. I'm honestly not sure because there's like three other boxes penned in for August. Uh, I know for a fact my Belgian friend has just Ghost Rider released for August, doesn't have these two. Asmodee, what are you doing as per usual when it comes to distribution of Atomic Mass Games miniatures? But, anyway, for today we have CP10 which has been a long time coming, apparently it was delayed because of sculpting issues. I'm not sure if Atomic Mass Games were unhappy with the original sculpting problems or if it's um, Marvel didn't sign off on them. Either way, it's finally here. This is Miles Morales, Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy Ghost Spider. And then we also have Peter Parker's Arch Nemesis, the Green Goblin. And with these two, I believe, come two new factions. Uh, let's see here. Uh, affiliation card. Affiliation card. Absolutely. Okay. Heroes or villains? Heroes or villains? Star Heroes. The one that has been missing for so very long. Which I'm not blaming Atomic Mass Games for, incidentally. Even if it wasn't them that had the problem with the quality. You know what they say about good things. They're worth waiting for. Oh hey, nice art. That's from the character cards. Assembly instructions. Super simple. Love it. Love to see it. Done. Dum bum bum. Done. Perfect. Does make me wonder what was the problem with the original sculpts if these ones are so simple, but either way. The Miles Morales Spider-Man pose is exceptionally similar to the Spider-Man, as in like Peter Parker Spider-Man, pose for his miniature from uh, Marvel Universe. So we get our four usual bases, which we don't need to look at. And then the itty bitty bit of sprue with both characters, because they're both small. Is that... A Okay, that's her chest. I, I was very worried when I saw that and thought they'd spent way too much time sculpting the butt, but it's it's fine. So yeah, just that tiny bit of sprue. Simple, very easy to assemble. And we do have some spider affiliation tokens, as long uh, along with slow and I guess this must be for the crisis. Let's see what the crisis is. As far as I'm aware, the crisis that these two come with are the only thing not spoiled. But I might be wrong. So yeah, we saw the tokens. These will be used for whatever we're about to... It looks like it's Spider-Verse related to me. Let's find out. Get that in focus. Portals overrun city with spider people. Okay. So they're spawning one victory point to people who control the portal. If you interact with the portal... Healthy contesting enemy characters. What do you get though? They should, if the role contains at least one skull, interacting character is placed within two of its current position. The opposing player resolves this placement. So you can force people to get teleported or ported away, depending on what you roll when you interact with it, but it's just a typical kind of claim it for one victory point. 18 threat though, that's good. So we also have the Web Warriors affiliation. Miles Morales is the leader, it really should be Peter Parker, but because he's in the core box, they'd have to release a new card for him. So Miles Morales is the affiliation leader, Peter Parker, Ghost Spider, and Venom. Simple as that, just four of them. If they ever do, who else could they add? They could add Silk. Uh, I guess they couldn't really do Superior Spider-Man, because he's, well, he was a hero, though. A little bit time-bending if they have him and Peter Parker together, but they could do that. I can't think of anyone else. Hmm. No, well, I guess they could do some more people from the Spider-Verse, I guess, like uh, Spider-Man Noir and such. But yeah, simple Web Warriors affiliation to start with. Web Barrier. Miles taking on Rhino. If you want to read the full text, feel free to pause. This was shown off on one of the Atomic Mass Games live streams, so I remember seeing it. I love the art on this one. All you've got. Thanos beating everybody up. Unaffiliated reactive. It costs four to spend. And you have to be a threat level of six or less. Oh, yeah. A, a character with six or less threat would gain an activated token. You can spend to take another turn. But then you get dazed, I think. Or killed if you're already dazed. One last oomph. All webbed up. Good picture of Spider-Man. Classic Peter Parker Spider-Man. Web Warriors only. An active card. Again, pause if you'd like to read it fully. And then the cards. So here's Gwen Stacy, 3 threat, 5 health, long move, 3-3-3 three, three, three defense. 
Now, it was a point of contention that she doesn't have the spider sense passive, which Miles does, which we'll see in a second. Their explanation of why on stream is because Lifesaver is her equivalent of a spider sense, so she like uses her spider sense to save people by pulling them out of danger as opposed to protecting herself. It's a twist on a theme, I still think she should have had it because I don't think spider sense is as good as they think it is, personally, but personal preference. So yeah, that's what she does, cheap and cheerful. She does more damage if you double attack a character, and on her wounded side, stays at 5 health, stays at movement long, 333 still. I don't recall if anything specifically changes and she has the wall, wall crawler passive of course so she can just climb up stuff. So yeah, cheap and cheerful. But in general the web warriors are cheap and cheerful. Miles Morales Spider-Man, so he has the affiliation bonus which is great responsibility. Our allied characters may reroll one defense dice, that's just flat. Then additionally they may modify and reroll skulls when they're holding or contesting an objective which is very nice, very interesting affiliation bonus. He is also only 3 threat, 5 HP, 3 3 3, so same stat line, right? Well, he moves medium, but other than that, yeah. His attacks are a little bit better, his Venom Blast does 7 energy. And you can see he's got Web Swing, he's got the Bog Standard, Spider Sense, and of course he has Stealth because he can cloak. On his window side, he stays at 5 health. I don't recall if anything on this changes. I don't think it does. No, I don't think it. I, I don't think it does. But again, if I if I didn't spot anything, apologies. But that's why I shot on camera so you can pause and read it for yourself. So that is Gwen and Miles, and they'll be making up the Web Warriors with Venom and Peter. But we do also have their arch nemesis, the green villain, uh, the green villain, the green goblin who is a villain, to be fair. And his stat card is really interesting because a ton of stuff changes when he flips. More than I'll remember offhand. Let's first of all see his assembly instructions. You've got to put the things on his feet. That's initially just uh, like something that catches my eyes, being like, why bother? The rest of it seems okay. I think they said on stream as well that modulation was part of the reason the assembly is the way it is. I don't buy that for a second. I don't think they're interested in allowing you to to heavily kind of like customize the minis. But again, that's. That's my take on it. Most of the time though the stances they go with are so nice looking, why would you want to customise them? Apart from like stuff like adding lightning to Thor's attacks. So poison tokens, incinerate tokens I think, and then a goblin specific one, but we'll go over that after we take a look. He gets two of the medium sized bases to pick from, and there is his sprue. Is that in focus? I think so. Nothing like massively too small. The biggest parts of the plume of smoke that's holding him up to make it look like he's on his glider. Oh, let me just open this. And again, tight in the bag. Come on now. There we are. What a mess I've made. So there are the tokens, and again, this is the special one. It's kind of like Drax's Vengeance. Let's go over the cards first. So here is the Spider Foes affiliation, which are just a conglomerate of people who dislike Spider People. Not specifically the Sinister Six, just people who don't like Spider-Man, because I know people had a problem with Kingpin being on here when he hates Norman Osborn. But Green Goblin, Carnage, Doctor Octopus, Kingpin, Mysterio, and Venom. Obviously we haven't seen Carnage or Mysterio yet. Kingpin got revealed at Gen Con. But, yeah, interesting faction. Well laid plans. Like the art. Like it a lot. Unaffiliated active for Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus specifically. Again, pause it if you want to read it. Love the art for this one. They showed this one off on a recent stream. Blind Obsession. Because Green Goblin, he's got a little bit of a thing. His nose looks like a jet fire and maybe something else, but I'll say jet fire for now. Blind Obsession, a lot of text. This adds on to his, his skills that we'll take a look at in a second. He really, really doesn't like Peter Parker. It cannot be over, overstated. He really doesn't like Peter Parker. So, Web Foes, Green Goblin, 7 HP, 4 threat, medium move, 4 3 3. But again, he changes a lot on his flipped over side. He's got Pumpkin Bombs, which do various things if you get wild. 
and depending on what element, or sorry, what status effect you get to inflict. Knight of the Goblin for just a hard hitting physical. Now his Oscorp weaponry is the affiliation bonus. Once per turn while an allied character is attacking it can spend one power when modifying opposing defence dice. If it does this it may re-roll one opposing defence dice. So if your opponent rolls a bunch of crits you can spend power to re-roll one, hope for a skull or just a normal hit if you want. I wouldn't say that's a fantastic affiliation bonus personally. I don't remember if it changes on the flipped over side like Thanos' does, we'll see in a second. Hit and run, 2 power action, trick or treat, 3 power. Arch Nemesis, this is the contentious one that's a bit interesting and it can fly as well. When attacking Peter pa Parker, his character may re-roll or modify skull results, can re-roll any number of attack dice. At the start of his character's activation, if there is a non-dazed enemy Peter Parker within 3, range 3 of this character, this character's first action must be an attack action targeting Peter Parker, if able, because his attacks are range 3, range 4. So that's his massive downside. If you bring Spider-Man and Spider-Man's within range, he will attack him. Even if it doesn't make sense, if it doesn't help you get objectives, you have to do it. And that's his massive downside. But then we flip him. He goes down to 5 HP. His defense changes. He goes from 4-3-3 to 3-3-5. And, oh, what else changes here? It looks like Oscorp Weaponry stays the same. He gets Glider Ram instead of Hit and Run. Arch Nemesis Peter Parker changes slightly, I think. Unstable Psyche is a new passive. This character cannot interact with or hold objectives, so he loses the ability to help towards objectives. During the power phase, roll five dice for each crit, hit, or wild. This character gains one power, so he, can, he becomes a power generating machine on his Windows side. And I think Knight of the Goblin changes. One of these attacks changes in a manner. Uh, let me see here. Pumpkin Bombs gets one extra attack die. Keeps Bag of Tricks. And I think that's it. But yeah, this is probably the, the most changes for a flipped character that has existed in the game yet. And it's interesting. It makes him interesting. He's got a very obvious flaw. Just like the real Green Goblin. But he's got a lot of advantages. I would say his affiliation bonus is... Not, well, it's not bad, but it's not fantastic. But as a character, I think they made him exceptionally interesting, and he can cause a lot of trouble with his his bag of tricks. So, that is everything that you get in CB10, CB21, Green Goblin, and Spider-Man, and Ghost Spider. You will be seeing them on the table as soon as is able. Probably the Web Warriors first. I'm not sure. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There will be more unboxings to come, as well as battle reports. And maybe even more this month if Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider etc come out in the UK. We'll see. I don't know. Asmodee can are the only ones who can answer that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please do show your support. Start for now.